Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. I've got this book which um, actually came to us from Nick Dubois. And uh, Nick and I have known each other on and off for a few years now and was a member of Parliament and uh, an active Conservative campaigner over many years. And I actually saw him at the party conference some a while back now and he told us about the book. He's actually signed it, which is very nice. This is the book here. It's called Fatal Ambition. And you've got a nice little dedication there, which is good. And then you've got um, a prologue. It runs through. It's a nice piece. Of it. It's an easy book to read. And it starts off with some dates and locations and various other things. And it just runs through um, each chapter. That's chapter 13. Unlucky for some. It states where, where the actual action takes place. You've got various other bits and pieces. And I'm not going to do too much in the way of spoilers. But what I do suggest is that you've got... Um, at the end, and I'm not going to say what happens. Then you've got some acknowledgements about, um, basically about me, and then something about the author as well, about what he's been up to, and everything else. And the reason I'm saying that, the book runs to something like 300 pages. It's easy to read. It's a good little read, actually, depending on what sort of um, books you read. This is a, obviously a fiction book. It's published by Third Step Publishing. Don't ask me what that is. <laughs> But all I do know is I found this a, a thoroughly interesting book. Now, this is the review that Elizabeth and I came up with. Now, Elizabeth actually was the lead writer, but we had a chat about the book. And when rumours rule, who really holds the keys to number 10? Now, I'm not suggesting for one moment there are going to be any changes at the top of the political tree. But it's always, it's always interesting if the bus that dared did dare and then you had a sudden change. Of leadership at the top because this appreciation we felt would be something that might whet the appetite of, of the certainly the guys who like politics a lot as I do and of course Elizabeth does having just come out of a bruising election campaign myself I'm really rather delighted to to review this because this is what we say it's a refreshing change to, from reviewing law books to review this one or is it yes because it's fiction it's about the future rather than the present and it certainly concerns Parliament and parliamentarians, that lot, yes, sort of. In other words, those who ultimately make the law. And it's a good read too, as I would expect from Nick, because he's a good writer. The year is 2023. Yes, I know it's not far off now. And um, Oh, yes, it is, because Boris has left Downing Street. Yes, he has. So who will ultimately take his place? The current occupant of number 10 is appropriately nameless as... He, uh, she, no, he, is a bit of a non-entity and a chap who covets the top job is an objectionable clot named James Cleaver. Interesting title, a name for a surname. Who wishes nothing more uh, than to become Prime Minister, the sooner the better. I met rather a lot of them, I'm afraid, in politics. Now, the plot thickens, don't you know, because, for example, documents relating to the loss of £2.4 million pounds by Cleaver are discovered, leaving his career an email away from being over once these revelations are, you know, revealed. But so what? You might say, bearing in mind what's happened in the last couple of years with the current government. Cleaver, of course, is quite adept at extricating himself from such trivial problems. But wait, glamorous but snippy journalist Beth Anderson Beth Anderson, yes, is now hot on his trail, determined to bring him down. Well, now read on, folks. As the publishers have succinctly put it, the future of the government and the fate of the United Kingdom depend on who will win in this jostle of fatal ambition. An interesting way of summing up the book. But as I say, I think you might find it quite interesting because we, are, we live in interesting times. And having, as I said, just fought an election and lost for the local elections in 2022, we have a summer of quite interesting things happening with the new Queen's speech, which is why I thought I would do the review now. Now, let me conclude by saying the book is nothing if not suspenseful. And Nick Dubois knows whereof he speaks because he served as an MP and he's been there and done that. So he spun a narrative which does offer a certain chilling credibility, even though the events in it haven't happened yet. And I had to get this review done quickly because we're in 2022 already. 
at least we hope they <laughs> they won't anyway but as we inexorably approach 2023 you better run off and have a read of fatal attraction actually it's a fatal ambition not attraction <laughs> right now the reason i say that is because time is not on our side the date of publication was uh, 2021 and I've recorded this in May 2022 and I'd just like to say a great big thank you to Nick for entering into the spirit of writing uh, a nice little book this I know how much work goes into writing these books it looks easy but it isn't there's a lot of hard work and of course Nick has produced a number of um, number of books over the years but that's that's the front page there just looking at it again and you can see the various uh, bits and pieces as you run through the book all the various chapters and then right at the end as i say i'm not going to give give anything away of what happens uh, because it is a work of fiction and of course it does mention nick's career in the back of the book um and of course as i say he's his first book was called confessions of a recovering mp now i have to say that uh, although i've not been an mp it's nice to win elections but it's not nice to lose them and unfortunately, one of the problems in, in our business is you do win a few and you lose a few, which is why there's a lot of reality in this book. But thank you to Nick. Um, I enjoyed it immensely and good luck for the future. See you before too long. Bye bye.